Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Holland. Um, I thought I'd do a very quick video tutorial for you on how to properly submit an assignment via Edmodo when you have a file to attach. Um, I've done a few assignments already from last week that require you to do this. Um, they require you to create a Word document, answer a few questions, or write a reflective two paragraph essay something of that nature okay and um, then you have to submit that via Edmodo okay so obviously you know um, the easiest way to get to your assignments instead of having to scroll down and, and as the semester goes on uh, this this is just going to get more and more and more uh, full of communication between myself and each of you, especially when it comes to the essential questions. Okay, so the easiest way to do that, do, um, I don't use the notifications anymore. Uh, this feature used to be very useful, very helpful, but now it's just it's just really confusing. Uh, they try to make it like a live feed um, in like a Twitter esque setup or a you know uh, Facebook live feed but it's just it's bogus I'm sorry um, I love Edmodo but that's that bell right there is worthless what you're gonna look for though is you're gonna look for the progress bar that's this guy over here to the left it looks like a heartbeat icon um, that's what you're looking for you're looking at your progress in the class um, anytime that you can't find your assignments on here as again as the time goes by if you're one of those ones that maybe um, missed an assignment from last week uh, the progress bar you go here you choose your class and once you're here you're gonna see um, the assignments that you have turned in and the assignments that you've not now you can see I have several assignments waiting now one thing to uh, case in point here is this year for Edmodo purposes I am not going to grade anything inside of Edmodo I used to put a grade inside of your Edmodo gradebook and inside your gradebook um, for the school so uh, what I do now is I look and I see um, the waiting and then I'm gonna go in and make sure that you did exactly what I asked you to do if you did and uh, it's one of those assignments where I asked you to attach something and you did in the document um, you know your, your writings within the parameters of what I asked for you're getting a hundred for that okay you're not gonna see it in Edmodo but you will see it in the gradebook I can promise you that okay so to give you an example I'm gonna do this twice for you and try to make this quick um, I know that last week this assignment was due August 22nd which was Friday so I know I'm a little bit late uh, but hopefully Mr. Holland will hook me up and help me out because um, I'm still learning this thing so I'm gonna click on the assignment right here and it's gonna take me to the assignment page and then all I'm gonna do is read what the directions are okay this is basically gonna tell you exactly what you need to do you're gonna open up a word document you're going to define the word time management and then you're going to type up three things that you learned about effective time management in the workplace now once you've done that I'm going to ask you to save the document as time management one first name last name for instance this would be time management one Aaron Holland once you have completed the assignment you're going to click turn in for the assignment attach the file you just saved then you're going to rate it and then click turn in once more and I even remind you on every one of my assignments attach your work if you submit stuff in Edmodo and you do not attach a file you're gonna get a zero it's as simple if I ask for you to attach a file you attach the file the other part of this two-tier ministry is I'm gonna check the file okay don't think you're gonna be able to uh, attach a blank document and get full credit for that that's not how it works I promise you I take the time to look at the assignments to make sure you're doing what you're supposed to do and if you do what you're supposed to do we're not gonna have any issues okay so if you look at this I know I need to go down here and first of all I gotta leave that comment completed all right and this particular assignment it was so quick I mean it took me maybe I don't know 15 20 minutes to read the website and define communication and then uh, write three things I found out about it this was an awesome assignment okay and then I'm gonna go to the file 
button and that's this guy right here when you mouse over these you're gonna see one is from your backpack one is if you want to link something and one is if you want to attach a file so you're gonna click the file and it's already in first period now make sure folks that you're going to the proper periods okay if you're in first period and you know that you have to turn this assignment in and it's in another maybe it's on the desktop like this go to your respective folder wherever you saved it at some of you have been saving it in the documents library just keep in mind that's a depository for a multitude of things so if your assignments become lost I'm sorry I can't do nothing for you man okay Flavor Flav's got problems of his own alright so with that in mind uh, communication one Aaron Holland this is the assignment I'm asking for you're gonna double click on it and it's gonna upload the file you have done everything I've asked you to do at this time you're gonna click turn in assignment and you're done you're gonna go back to progress and just double check and look now you've got the um, time management one you're waiting for a grade okay now I'm gonna show you real quick one more time we're gonna go to employability skills one and I already see that I'm gonna go to this employability skills page and I'm gonna read um, areas of employability skills then of course open that word document and you're gonna write a two page uh, or a two paragraph not two page thank goodness reflective narration on what you learned about employability skills and then you're gonna save it as skills one first name last name again skills one Aaron Holland you're gonna click turn in rate the assignment and click turn in once more and the best part about this is how to do it is directly above where you're supposed to do it <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like you can't get it wrong I mean if you get it wrong uh, you gotta check yourself okay that's why I'm doing these videos like this so you can go drop back and say okay oh I get it now okay so again completed this is the most um, common response I get sometimes it's without the period okay this one was a little more reading you know I could I could say you know lost interest um, and then of course I'm gonna click on that file again I'm in first period already I know it's skills one Holland Aaron if you notice I messed this one up but I did it on purpose so you can clearly see I'm still not gonna um, count off for this because even though I told you to save it first name last name if you get this close to it and the document has what I'm asking for you're getting full credit okay because I'm like some Florida Georgia line and this is how we roll right alright so you're gonna click turn in assignment once more and you are done okay now uh, the great Eddie McDonald is when he goes back and he looks look at there at this point in the game he has every assignment turned in except for the uh, employability skills assignment poster so he's in pretty good shape okay uh, however you're gonna wanna make sure that all your assignments look like this right here where it's waiting alright so that's that in a nutshell hopefully this helps you out I hope to see everyone at school tomorrow thank you